Hey everyone, Depressedior here with some more Link's Removal. Uh, not much is going to be happening coming next week due to um, uh, the point race being over. So yeah, won't be able to do anything until May 9th. So I've got a little bit of time. Um, today, uh, Record of Lotus Spores banner has been released, so I figure I'm going to go ahead and dive into that. But let's uh, go ahead and switch to Record of Lotus War music in hopes it would actually do anything. Look at the chat. Yeah, you can see some people have gotten Ashrams and Deedlets, so it's definitely up and running. Might as well say good luck to the rest of the guild. It's a great guild, I don't ever have to talk to them, which makes it a good guild. So, um... I have about six, uh, 262 summons available to me. So, unfortunately the music changes here. Um, for those who are not familiar, the drop rate for an SSR is about 2%, uh, though my luck it's not that high. Um, you are guaranteed to get one SSR every 100 summons. Um, it does reset if you get an SSR soon bef uh, before then. Um, and what sort of SSR you get depends on the banner you summon on. Um, for example, Rise of the Enforcer, well, both of these are actually pretty much the same. Um, these are known as Raid Up Banners. Uh, Raid Up Banners are generally ones that have two unique characters on it. Um, and the only difference between um, that could be between certain um, Raid Up Banners is there's some that are known as Collab Banners, which are ones that are not involving uh, Langrisser. So both of these are actually Collab Banners. This one's for, um, what's it called? Oh, I don't even remember the na name of the game. Probably find out. Do, 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 do. Crossovers. Trails in the Sky. And this one, uh, the one that's coming up, is Record of Lotus War. And uh, the catch about the, the collab banners is the only way you get the units that are on those banners is from those banners. Um, usually, whenever new heroes come out, they get added to the, to the, uh, the group pool and they could be potentially pulled on any banner, um, but not in the case for this. So if this banner runs out of time or expires and I don't have Deedlet, I do not get Deedlet. So a little bit of pressure. Um, now, as for the, the way it works is uh, there's an 80% chance that you'll get one of the characters, one of the two characters that is on the banner, and then a 20% chance that you'll get something called an off-banner character, which is essentially everyone else. Um, so with that, essentially you have a 40% chance, if you draw an SSR, you have about a 40% chance of getting the character that you are looking for. Um, uh, with 260-something summons, uh, I'm guaranteed to get at least two SSRs, which means I'm floating at about 64% chance that I can actually get Deedlet. Uh, that's assuming I don't get any extra summons or better luck. I'm hoping I get better luck, but my luck with summoning has been awful. So, with all that said and done, let's go ahead and dive right in. So... Uh, do, do, do one thing first. Give me one moment. We'll grab this and we'll grab that. I like to keep track of how many summons I've been doing, so got a got a piece of paper nearby. All right, summon ten. My worst luck was with Yulia, so I'm hoping it's not going to be that bad. Okay, so uh, whenever you do a 10 summon, you are guaranteed to get at least one SR. At this point, I actually don't really need any SRs. Uh, I guess there's one character that I can get just to get up to six stars, but as far as female characters are concerned, I have everything already. So we'll just keep on going. Pretty much if you hear it winding after it hits gold, that means it's definitely going to stay gold. Um, if it becomes quiet the moment it hits gold and starts pulling back, or when it starts pulling back, um, that means you'll probably gonna get, you'll, you will get an SSR. So you can definitely tell by sound. Nope. 
So yeah, um, like I said, it's supposed to be two percent, but I've I've had to, I've had to rely on pity polls so much. Um, it's it's a bit ridiculous. Anyway, we're up to forty summons now. Special here. So we're at 50 summons. I want to go into crystal soon. There we go. 50 summons. Not bad. Not on average. Oh, I got off banner. <laughs> That's not a good sign. <laughs> well, we got Ultimolar. He's off banner. So that that twenty percent chance. This is this is gonna be Yuli all over again. I've gotten D Heart off banner so many times. I almost have him six stars. Oh, that's a bad sign. Alright, well at least it was on the first 50, um, so I still technically have my two pity bulls. But yeah, that's not boosting my confidence. Alright. Alright, so with that, that resets the counter, so we're back to doing another 10. I don't really have any other use for crystals at the moment, so I'm fine with spending them on tickets. That's pretty much what you're going to end up spending them on in this game. Skip. Alfred's the only one I don't have uh, six stars, so getting him would be a little bit nice just to, for collection purposes. There is achievements for getting a certain number of six stars, which will actually get me more tickets. That being said, I don't want more Ultimores. feeling when you get um I think with Yulia I get into getting off banner like three times it's it's the worst feeling and it's like it's a 20% chance that you'll get it oh that's after 60 pulls that's not bad Okay, that was uh, 110 pulls. That's that's not bad. Um, I'm not going to pull anymore. I don't really want Ashram. Get, don't get me wrong, Ashram's a freaking cool guy. Um, but um, I, I need to save the tickets for later. Um, I need to pull on the next week's banner. Uh, next week's banner, I believe, is, is a focus banner with Wyler on it. And I actually need Wyler for Serena's bonds. So I'm going to go ahead and save my tickets for that. But, uh, we did it! Perfect High Elf, an elf with a powerful command of magic and Parn's most trusted ally. Awesome, I'm so happy that, 
<laughs> that that worked out. 110 summons is not bad. Um, especially since we ended up getting two SSRs out of it. Alright. Let's dive right in then. Alright, first things first, let's get her, get her maxed out. Boop. Alright. Uh, don't suppose you can switch... Oh, right, you already use unicorns, good. Alright, so unicorns are our best troops. Um, and... Wow, gets gossipal as our first skill, that's amazing. Oh. And for those who need... They actually have a description for all the classes included in the unique ones. Uh, the most trusted friend of the elves, capable of guiding allies into the delight and defeating enemies with stunning and dependable summon magic. Gospel. Worth it. Other than that, she just has a wind cutter or wind blade. Oh, also her passive is for every one block move this time, after taking action, you gain a plus 2% uh, int and defense buff, max 6%. So essentially, um, as long as you move her full movement, which is usually going to be three, um, she'll get a max buff that increases bolsters her um, stats. Um, it'll only last one turn, of course. After taking action, if this unit is in the danger zone, which is the uh, within attacking range of an opponent, and has not dealt any damage, it can act again. This act again, in fact, has a four turn cooldown. Uh, this ability is amazing because what you can do is you can, you can move in Close the distance on your opponent. Um, spend that turn buffing yourself with Gospel, which doesn't do damage. It's a buff. And then have this force no return trigger, and then move the rest of the distance to get your attack in. Um, uh, essentially, people uh, say the deal is essentially uh, a, uh, another Yulia, or perhaps even a better Yulia. Uh, she doesn't have self resing like Yulia or self healing. Um, but she has a bunch of unique buffs and stuff like that. Um, she's, of course, Princess Faction, which works great for me. Um, also, Origin and Time is actually probably the best factions I can work with um, due, to ha due to my limitations and uh, what faction buffs I have available to me. So, honestly, d uh, has quite the combination going. Anyway, enough rambling. Master this class. Alright. So our options is we can go become a uh, infantry, even the, uh, well a magic infantry essentially um, on this route, or we can go pure mag uh, become a mage. Uh, we're gonna go mage first just to master it, and then we'll switch over to the other side. I was really I really felt nervous when I got all the color as that first ball. <laughs> Oh boy. Alright. Let's Powerful class of the elf clan with peerless magical ability and the power to summon spirits to fight for her. All right, she got what? I think it was magic defense break. Yeah. I don't really like that one because it only ha works 50% of the time. All right, invocation. The other one. Should have read what the other one was. It was magic. All right. Uh, magic. Troops I don't need. Uh, all right, same ones again. So magic, uh, invocation done. Class mastered. Uh, you pretty much need to max uh, master both uh, branches, no matter what, because it's the only way to unlock all of her um, uh, bonds. Also, it unlocks all of her fancy unique abilities. Are definitely worthwhile. All right, upgrade. Okay. 
これなら今までよりもずっとパンを守れるわ。Alright。But accelerated aid、uh, after taking action and increase the mobility of one adjacent friendly unit by one and grants immunity to mobility、uh, reduction effects and curse of wounding healing taking is converted into damage. Last one turn. Uh, so this is, I mean, this is the first passive mobility buff I've seen. Well, sorry, that's that's a lie. Because、um, Lifany exists. Well, besides Lifany,、um, or not Lifany,、uh, besides Letitia,、um, this is one of the one of the few、um, non-character skills I've seen that actually、uh, is a passive mobility buff. Also, it's one of the few ways to get immune to curse of wounding, which is kind of neat. But I don't think I have the open slot for her to actually use that skill.、Um, I should have. A heart bonds. Yeah. Okay, it's 45. Okay. Back down here, please.、Uh, do, 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 do. There you are. Alright. So I was seeing if I had some items I can use instead of burning my、uh, guild currency. Sure, Dealer would work pretty well as a mage as well,、uh, but I don't have any need for it. Also, I don't know if I actually read the description for the second class.、Uh, the Guardian of the Forest will return, tough and flawless, possessing the power to peace,、uh, to peace and hope to the world. All right. Trying to get a few extra. Here. There we go. That's what I wanted. I wanted to get enough so I can just buy the rest with this. Yep. Perfect. And we need to buy this. Also, I need to reset the music. All right. Mastery. Alright, so our new skill,、uh, Sea of Miracles, active skill, removes up to two debuffs from units within range and heals them for an amount equal to two times caster s a m p reduces the cooldowns of skills by one turn, and increases damage dealt by 15% for two turns. Four turn cooldown span five blocks.、Uh, yeah, like I said, she's got a very awesome kit.、Um, a little bit of everything. 
All right, uh, da, 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 that's it for that class. I can do masteries, but I'm not going to mage. I'm going to be sticking with uh, infantry. So let's switch on over. We have to use a runestone. I have plenty. Alright. Demon Swordsman. I'm pretty sure that's not the right title for, for her. Alright. Invincible on the battlefield, wielding an enchanted sword, exceptional combat skills, and daring attacks. Cutter dagger. Uh, attacks a single enemy, dealing 1d3, uh, 1, 1. 1.3 times magic damage. Melee soldiers will also attack. Um, before battle, dispels one enemy buff and reduces their attack intelligence by 20%. Uh, it's almost like a ranged roar, essentially. Uh, the thing that stands out is the fact that it's ranged 2. Um, uh, the main disadvantage about being a, a uh, infantry is, of course, her, attack, her standard attack range is 1 instead of two. Alright, keep on going. Alright, so... Vocation, Fighting, Soul. Vocation... Fighting... Class. Okay, she'll be staying this class. Stand. Don't believe last stand's a unique skill. Oh uh, yeah, it's standard abilities here. All right, so let's go ahead and do equipment. Quick. All right. Um, so I have gate of truth. I don't. There's a. There's a. Another hammer that's like, I don't remember what it's called, um, but I have yet to ever get it as a drop, so that's why I don't have it. I uh, went Breeze a Chance, because unfortunately uh, infantry have horrible mobility, and so proccing Breeze will help with that. Uh, Giant's Resolve is just to help give her a little bit of tankiness against assassins. Uh, st same thing for Star Earring, as well as the Boss of Int. And then of course Fury Tear actually goes really well with her kit because after taking action, if she hasn't attacked, she can get additional skill damage and counter uh, counter attack damage for one turn. Um, so overall, pretty awesome. All right, back to work. So priest and soul. All right. Have to do soul or uh, priest twice, which is fine. This is cheap. Advanced. Got heavy infantry, don't need it. Uh, pop that, thing. And one more priest. Ooh. Elven aura. Uh, attacks a single enemy. Dealing 1.6 times damage. Melee soldiers will also attack. It is 2 range. Uh, before battle, grants you Elven Forest command when all uh, friendly units. Uh, when all. That's weird. 
Uh, all friendly units within two blocks move uh, all passable... Oh, okay. When all friendly units within two blocks move, all passable terrain is treated as forest. Uh, unit is not affected by terrain uh, mobility penalties, and after taking action, 30% of their HP is restored last two turns. Yeah, that's uh, pretty amazing. Alright. Back to this. Uh... Unfortunately, I am out of fancy item uh, boxes, but that's fine. Uh, so, Saint, Hero, Pope. So I didn't read the description. An elf skilled in close combat and the most dazzling star on the battlefield, she can channel her tenacious belief into her blade to defeat any enemy. That is confidence. Alright. Uh, Saint Hermit. Justice and Judgment. I'll take care of all of our class requirements. Alright. Fully maxed out. She's at 5476 power. And we do Masteries now. So let's do those. Here you go. Have some of that. She is int based, so unfortunately not many options here. And use the rest of them just in case I get better. I mean, it does not for arena stuff. It doesn't really matter that much. Okay, well, that's slightly better. See if I can higher. Yep, that's higher. Okay. So that's good. Let's do this. Uh, what do I want? I want crit. Make it just full glass cannon. Or why not? We'll do that for now. I can always change it if I need to. So crit and crit damage. Oh, it doesn't really need it. That's fine. And now for standard equipment, let's do. Uh... Oh wow, I have. I don't have a single health one. That's weird. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do this. Let's see. But I had more uh, infantry stuff, but apparently I don't. Alright. out. Good stuff. Uh, one on this one. Oh, maxed out on that. Awesome. Okay. Uh, this one I'm just going to use regular. There we go. That's actually a good roll for an SR. And then we'll see if we can max you out. Almost. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and just use the rest of these. I have the gold to spare, as you probably have noticed. Alright. Uh, yeah, I don't have any I don't have any health uh, chance for uh, 
Infantry. That's so crazy. Alright, maxed out. Good. Alright, well, that's okay. Uh, that is if... Oh, actually, there's a few things I can do with her, but I'm gonna wait. Uh, instead, we're gonna go ahead and dive right into this stuff. Uh, gifting... Skip all that. Okay. Then unlock. Lock. Lock. Alright, I have to do timer of 3 6 and 3 1 elite. Go figure. And I believe her heart bond is not unlocked. It will, it'll unlock next week. Six three one. All right, let's go do it. It won't take long. Exactly where I need it. Not gonna bother showing animations with this. Fighting level 30 units. This is not the one where you have to like force to no use the character was it five times in arena? That one's usually a pain to do. Alright, uh so the way I wanna do this. Uh, that way. 
All right. I should take care of all my needs. There you go, all done. That unlocks all of her uh, standard bonds. And the question is, is do I have enough keys to max her out? Actually, I can't fully max her out. Uh, this this update has also added um, the the time rift needed for um, the final uh, level ten upgrades. So yeah, I've I can now do these, but I will not. I will do that on my own time. Right now, let's just go ahead and max out Deedlet. Back some of the crystals I spent. Yeah, 110, so I have about 150 summons left. It's not the worst. like at this point. short that's all right good news is it uses um, vitality seeds which is good because I have tons of those max her out, but as you can tell, gold's not an issue. Um, usually it's it's always some sort of resource you're going to be short on. Um, for most people it's gold. In my case, it's uh, hammers and getting good drops. Alright, uh, we'll pop this. Almost, I was 8 short. Alright, uh... Parents, uh, let's see. Parents, of Lotus Wars, Allegiance Warrior of Light. Lila was born in the Forest of No Return. In the Forest of No Return, and serves as an emissary and warrior of the High Elves. She can summon all kinds of elves to help her in battle and subdues enemies with her longsword. The youngest of the High Elves, Dilit joins Parn's team, and eventually the two of them become a couple. My name is Dilit, and if you don't mind, you can call me Deed. I've never heard her be called Deed. Uh, then again, I haven't seen the anime in forever. The rambunctious Dilit has always has always been very very curious about the outside world. After coming across humans trapped under a spell, she decides to further explore human feelings and emotions and leaves the forest for no return secretly to live among the among human society. Not long after her joining human society, Dili meets Parn. The two of them experience many challenges and dangers together, but because of this, Dili learns about the diversity and goodness of human nature. Through Parn discovers that great potential lies within each human. After realizing the nature of Parn's heart, Dila makes up her mind that no matter what decision Parn makes, she will support him unconditionally. Later, she realizes that this decision was in fact a result of the most precious human emotion, love. The world is full of people. Uh, you will get uh, you from behind. So let me handle them. You keep your eyes on what's ahead. Which she said before a lot of people got killed. Alright, after realizing that she is in love with Parn, Dila decides to continue living among human society to help Parn fulfill his dreams. In order to save Parn, she even persuades the High Elven Elders to lift the curse of the forest for no return. Dila with unyielding efforts that are rewarded accordingly, and she becomes the happiest woman in all of Lotus. 
After her arrival in this new world, she plans to continue playing the role of the ardent supporter, accompanying Parn on a new adventure. However, she never allows anyone uh, to come closer to Parn than herself. After all, High Elves are also capable of jealousy. No matter how difficult things get, don't give, uh, give up. Let's face the future together. Alright, so you got that going for us. I, I'll do the Gate of Fates in a second. Um, so for this week, all it is is a login event. Um, so tomorrow I'll be able to get pier enough shards to get Pyrotess. Um, unfortunately Pyrotess's kit is not great, um, but I'll still build her. Alright, so now the reason I'm back here, I'm at 6481 uh, power now. I'm going to go ahead and awaken her. Uh, she doesn't have a 3 cost skill, but she can get her 6 skill point. Watch out! This, this is elven magic. Let's see if she can pull it off. Alright, so buffs are pretty much useless here, so I'm going to go ahead and switch off to other abilities. Uh, yeah, accelerate is not helpful. I guess I'll go ahead and use M Def Break for now. See if miracles wouldn't be too bad. But we'll stick with this and see how it goes. So we got Parn up here. You can see his unique ability. After taking action, gain the rapid advance, gain 3% attack and skill, and button mobility for two turns. Could stack up to three times. If you have a mobility increased uh, buff, damage dealt is increased by 20%. That's kind of neat. Uh, I believe Parn will be later. I think maybe next week. Uh, Pyrotes. Uh, when unit is below 100% health, attack and skill increases by 30%. This is what makes her kind of hard to use um, because you have to have her at below max health. For entering de battle, if your skill is higher than the enemies, you inflict one strong debuff. Also, unique skills. Blade of Freedom attacks an enemy from one range, dealing 1.4 times. Before battle, it renders the enemy unable to use passive skills. Not bad. Glory of the Fateful uh, restores 50% HP, gives her a buff. Every block, one block move increases all of his stats, excluding HP, by 5%. Last one turn. Can use after move. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can act again after use. Uh, this next movement's mobility is equal to the remaining mobility, mobility when using the skill, so you don't get extra movement. And you can only move in a straight line. It's a charge ability. Okay, uh, do cutting snipe. Uh, 1.3 times. Super effective against flyers. Uh, if your skill is higher than enemies, you reduce their mobility. Otherwise, their attack and intelligence are reduced by 30%, which is a pretty significant buff debuff. Ashram. Uh, every block move attack increases by 4%. Defense increases by 20%. Uh, before entering battle, if your attack is higher than the enemy, you will attack the enemy first. Not bad. Um, Shadow Assault attacks the enemy 1.4 times. Uh, before entering debt battle does 20% debuff and then 1.7 times and you gain win ride also uh, after eliminating a target replace the skill with decimate whatever that means all right let's see if we can pull this off so and uh, awakening trials, you get a buff that overall overrides your um, standard buffing, so that's why I didn't bring a possible. Jeez, that that is no joke. Alright, we'll see if it can pull it off. I could, uh, I could try doing Elven Aura and see if that does better. Uh, 
Alright, we'll try we'll try the other skill. Does more damage. But man, I have also while we're at it, let's go ahead and turn on animations. Not enough. Alright, for some reason he didn't use his ability this time. Alright. Uh, okay, we should be fine. Just move up normally. Just a cooldown for this. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this in melee. There we go. A little concerned about Ashram now. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I stop if I don't do anything in attack range. I'll move here. Alright. Let's say we. Oh, cause oh, cause she's freaking, she's infantry. That's right. That's uh, a little terrifying. Let's see if we can. So I'm up on the city wall for the thirty percent um, buff. Also, I misread the distance there. Apparently, yeah, I just so misread the distance. I could have swore I was out of range, and then when I ended my turn, it uh, suddenly put him in range. All right. So it's doable. Maybe. I know this patch also adjusted the difficulty for um, Sumar's Awakening, but I had already done it. Um, I don't know if this one needs to be tweaked or not. It's definitely a bit ridiculous. Uh, I think the biggest issue is the fact that she's infantry against a bunch of calf, which honestly is a kind of a shitty thing. Didn't debuff that time. Oh, I hate that skill. Alright. The other thing that sucks is this map, I don't get the benefit of uh, fighting on forest, mountain, or grasslands since this is all indoors or path. Actually, path might actually be something I can fight on. Alright. So yeah, the biggest issue here... I can't outrun him. <laughs> it's the problem. I'll we'll, we'll take advantage of the extra action. Alright, freeze proc so I can at least get there. This time, okay, I can see, I, I failed to see the little red aura around it, so that's why it messed up for me. We're gonna go right here. Right. 
And, uh, like, need a debuff his attack. I debuff his attack. Let's see if that does enough. Attacks first. Okay, that worked. I was actually kind of surprised how much damage I did. But his uh, troops were not calf, so I was at least able to damage it. Alright, that was a bit painful. But now she has her extra skill, so I can get rid of this and pick up that, I guess, for now. There you go. Alright, so next, let's do, um... I have exactly enough uh, stamina to do this, so let's do it. From the moment she chose to leave her hometown, her new song of Destiny began to play. No one from your team was killed, win the battle in four rounds. So collabs usually don't have um, any fancy story stuff, it's just combat, so we should be good to go on that front. Alright. Don't really need to buff against these things, but That's a problem. No one from your team was killed. How would you... I think I'm not supposed to let any of them die, and that's a problem. Like a huge problem. Let's retreat, see if, I, if there's a way for me to do this without uh, being utterly screwed. I hate maps like this. Alright, well. So, a thing I could do is drop that, pick up Sea of Miracles. That at least gives me a means to heal people. And this thing actually should be able to attack. I'm uh, infantry. Unless, of course, the wolf blocks it and is a dick. Matak 
I mean, I don't know if this guy, these things are even counted as my team, so it's labeled as blue, but I have no way of knowing, and I only get one shot today. I don't want to redo this one. Alright, so we'll kill you. Looks like I got Breeze proc this time. Yeah, I don't think there's a way of having this work. as a mage because you won't be able to draw the attack. Actually, you might still draw the attack because you're ranged. Alright, well, no one was killed. Somehow. Are you willing to protect the piece of Lotus with me? Okay. Radio. No feats, literally just kill everything? Is that, is that it? Okay. Oh, just needs a solution for that. Boop. This one will be quick and easy. Within eight turns, no one from your team is killed. Surprise, terror, anger, anguish, you must leave these strong emotions behind. Well, that will depend on the map. Uh, slimes and just one, one wolf, one doggo? Crazed beast. Oh, great. Alright. Okay, what's going on here? Kills all slimes, gathers healing power, and heals crazy beast. The beast is wounded and needs treatment. Okay. Let's, uh... We'll go down first. I'll deal with you. It actually handles it, fixes all the mobility issue quite a bit. It does have a long cooldown though. 
夢はあるわね Alright, at the end of, the, of turn, grants a friendly unit within one block range of deadly poison at the end of turn, takes fatal damage and grants self chaotic healing. Harness the power of three elements and hear the face poison. Okay. Okay, so I have deadly poison right now, so I'm guessing I'm supposed to wait. And then what I have right now is healing power. Okay. There we go. That's what you have to do. If you did the other way, you would poison it and kill it. Also, I didn't do that within time limit, did I? Eight turns. That's ridiculous. How many turns did I take? I don't even know. Whatever. Flow of time never stops. Witness the dawning of a new era. Both Grey will survive when the battle within eight turns. Eight turns is the problem because Vila is not particularly fast when she's outside of combat range. Oh, I have control of them? Sweet. That means they stay in the back. I missed one achievement, not the end of the world. It annoys me when that happens. Thankfully it's on a shard, so I can at least have a reason to go, de go there again, since I'll be farming up to uh, 6 stars. Alright, yeah, so I've gotten 20 additional crystals. Okay, not a big deal. 
And then the only other thing I want to go ahead and do... Put team formation. Uh, for right now, let's drop Young Jessica and we'll take a split. Generally, you don't want to take a star, but I think she'll be four stars by the time I actually be able to do Apex again. And you probably see I've changed the box a bunch, but I'm not going to go over that right now. So because this video has gone on pretty long. So, I think that's pretty much it. So, I am the Depressed Hero. This was Langster Mobile. See you guys later.